Hello everyone, before we get into this long overdue video, I wanted to give a big thank you to Clappy or Clapperton and EA Sports for this unbelievable trophy. The NHL 21 Community Team of the Year awarded to, okay, point to it? I think I can. Man of the Rit. In case you weren't aware, that's me. So yeah, they sent this bad boy to uh, several creators actually, and it was just a very nice gesture, something really cool. It's like a, this is like a trophy. <laughs> like, holy crap, this is... Better than a lot of the hockey trophies I won throughout my playing time. But yeah, it's just super cool. So uh, thank you guys for all your support on the channel. This year has been uh, actually very, very good. So yeah, just thank you. Hope I really do hope I'm putting out content you guys enjoy. So thank you so much to you guys. Thank you to EA Sports. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, this is very delayed. And I honestly just kept forgetting that I was supposed to do this. Because I had it in my channel description, bio. I don't know what that thing's called. But anyways, I was supposed to do a Q&A for when I hit 40k. And also, thank you guys so much for 40k, by the way. Absolutely insane. Next up, 50. But yeah, I greatly appreciate it, guys. It means a lot. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. I know that Goalie Be a Pro really helped me out here. And uh, helped me get some, some new viewers at the beginning of NHL 21. So, yeah. Also, I guess the Career Sims, some of those did very well as well. And probably drew in some people, so... If you're coming from either of those things, then, uh, I guess, yeah, welcome to the channel. This is the most delayed welcome of all time, but either way, I am glad that you're here. So, yeah, I'm gonna do just a fantasy draft here while I answer these questions, and that's basically about it. We're just gonna chill, and I guess you guys are going to learn a thing or two. Uh, if you've been around on the channel for a long time, then I've probably answered a lot of these questions before, but for anyone that's new, which is actually a fair amount of people then I guess this is going to be all new info to you, and we are 13th, not bad. So the first question comes from Chizzy, and Chizzy wants to know, NHL is absolutely my favorite sport, there is no question about that. Well, hockey is my favorite sport, and NHL, yeah. And then, my number two, probably have to be American football, honestly. I think, I, okay, so the story behind that one uh, is that, I'm going to take Marshawn, screw it. <laughs> Why not? He totally fits the Philly, I guess, aura. I don't know what I don't know what to say there. That's not the right word, I don't think. But I just kind of feel like he belongs on Philly, you know? But yeah, so American football, uh, I kind of liked it when I was younger. I didn't really watch it, but I played NFL 06 on the GameCube. And I think it was Ladanian, Tom Ladanian Tomlinson. I believe that was his name. And I liked him. Because he played for the Chargers, and the Chargers had the coolest jerseys, in my opinion. So that's, you know, what made me gravitate towards them. And then I kind of didn't watch it for a while, and then when I went to get my degree, I met a few friends, obviously. Some of which, I guess, you guys have probably seen me stream Rocket League with. But, uh, this one individual does not stream or anything, but yeah, I was good friends with him all throughout school. And he kind of, you know, would talk about football every now and again and convinced me to try and pick it back up, essentially. So I was like, yeah, I'll give it a go. Sure, why not? And then I ended up watching it for one year, and I was basically hooked. So, yeah. Uh, I haven't really been watching it a lot this year, actually, but I certainly have been kind of keeping up with it. I kind of tried to follow soccer, uh, which I guess is European football, but I, I don't know. It's... it's it was a lot to learn, honestly. There's just the Champions League, there's like Serie A, there's Bundesliga, there's just so much going on. And I, you know, I just couldn't be bothered, honestly. Basketball, I'll watch if it's playoffs. That's pretty much about it. I'm one of those fans. I don't really care for the regular season, but once it's playoffs, I can watch basically any sport when it's playoffs, though. And I'm kind of you know, in a way, I guess gravitating towards golf a little bit too now. But overall, to answer your question, yes, hockey is my favorite sport, and my number two would be American football. I really have no idea how this draft is going to turn out. It's going to be interesting, to say the least, because I am barely paying attention to who I'm drafting. I'm kind of just winging it here. So the next question was asked by Chizzy Harrible, and I don't know if it's A double A or just triple A, but either way, uh, basically, why did I get into YouTube? Holy crap, I just realized I'm basically drafting, like, an old-age home team here. Like, I've, I'm the Washington Capitals. So I've actually been doing YouTube for a very, very long time. I'm pretty sure my first video was probably in 2008. If, uh, maybe... 
maybe 2008, maybe 2009. It's just somewhere in the range of 2008 to 2010. So I've been at this for a while. I used to try and do Call of Duty montages and Halo 3 montages, stuff like that. I was a big Halo 3 guy. That's probably my favorite game of all time, if not RuneScape. So one of those two, favorite game of all time. NHL 06 and 03 might be up there. I guess I have the salary cap turned off. Whoops. Yeah, I don't know. I've just always... It's something I've been wanting to do. I remember I bought that uh, Dazzle capture card, which has the yellow, red, and white cords. So the yellow video cord, and then the uh, ones there as well for audio, the left and right audio. So I bought a Dazzle, and then I wanted to buy a HodgePodge HD PVR, which used like the, whatever those cables, like YBR, I don't know, something weird. And it's like the green, red, blue, and then the audio cables, and... I remember my parents were like, are you sure you want to do that? Like, they tried to talk me out of it because it was like $250. Like, are you, like, really sure you want to do that? Uh, to which I answered, absolutely. But to be honest, I really, I don't know. It's just something I've always wanted to do. I've been making videos forever and... Yeah, even this channel, Man of the Rit, started. The first uploads on this channel, which you won't be able to find, were Call of Duty videos. And then, basically, I, you know... Loved hockey, and I stumbled across Johnny Superb Man 2BC and watched his NHL videos, and I was like, hey, I have NHL. I have a capture device. Why can't I do this? And basically, the rest is history. Now I am a hockey slash NHL YouTuber, I guess. I don't really like to be called that, because I would like to think I could branch out, but I always find myself doing this anyway. So, I don't know. Well, hopefully that answers your question. Z. I guess there was three of that question, but yeah, that's basically the background of it. And then I bought that one Elgato, eventually, the older one, which didn't support 1080 60, I believe. So I had to record in like 720 60, I think it was, and then export at 1080, which is basically just stretching it, making it not look good. But yeah, that was, that was a thing. And now I have the one that I bought several years ago. I think I bought it refurbished, actually, from Best Buy. And my mom still tells me that she remembers when I hit 100 subscribers how hyped I was. And I was, I uh, basically just ran up and told her like, how, how sick it was that I hit 100. So, yeah, that's it's interesting. Colin wants to know why I never use the flyers in videos. I got you. I got you. If I don't use a team, it is 100% not on purpose. I'm not avoiding teams, okay? I just do it randomly and... I do this so often that I usually forget the teams I have and haven't used. And then it just becomes a big, I don't know, I, I want to say random event, but it's really not a big random event. It's more of just, no, it is. It's random, I would say. Because for the most time, I usually just scroll through the teams and have it stop. But, you know, when I'm doing the season mode thing, I kind of have to pick a team. And then I just, there's probably some bias in there in my brain somewhere as to why I pick teams. But, you know. It is what it is. Also, my favorite team, uh, which is the second half of the question, Colin, is the Washington Crapitals. Yes, I have been a big fan of them for a very long time, actually, since right before Ovechkin actually signed with them. And yeah, he immediately became my favorite player of all time. Not even close. I mean, there are other players that I really like. Like, I, I love Oshi. I know he's a capital as well. I like Tom Wilson. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I wouldn't like him if he was on another team, but he's on, he's on, well, I wouldn't, shouldn't say my team. I know some people get mad at that. Either way, he's on the Capitals. I like him. But I do like Brad Marchand, honestly. I know he's a little rat, but it's good stuff, <laughs> what he does. I like Patrice Bergeron. I like Pasternak, McKinnon. There's a lot of NHL players that... I think are just sick. Okay, our chemistry is not great. It's not, you know, awful by any means, but I would like to have a plus three somewhere. I've been trying, but I can't really get anything to actually work. So I guess we're just going zero, one, one, one. Oh yeah, that's it right there. That's the move. Jokes. All right, I guess we're going one, one, zero here. And then in net, we got Dubnik and Hank. Okay, let's, uh, let's get to it. Actually, real quick, I'm gonna say that Bergeron gets the most points with 85, and I'm going to say the team makes the playoffs. I think we're going to get 40, 48 wins, okay? I honestly already forget how many points I said Bergeron's going to get, but while I'm editing this, I'll know whether I got it right or not. I really hope I'm not butchering this name, but it's Lechnis, 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 something along those lines. But asking about, did I play hockey in my youth? Yes, I did at pretty much every level. <laughs> I... 
played house league when I was extremely young and, you know, first learning how to skate. I remember that. Dad would come in the dressing room, tie my skates. I still play now uh, in a men's league, but yeah, I played, uh, I played AE at some point. I played double A for the majority. I played some triple A, which was cool. I met a lifelong friend through that. And also I met or and played against some current NHL players, which is awesome. I remember we had a summer team where we were playing and we had McDavid on our team, which was, yeah, he was just an animal from day one. Warren Fogel was also in that tournament. I think Mitch Marner was also in that tournament. I know I played against Sam Bennett as well. I'm trying to think of some other names here. There's some people that didn't really end up panning out, I suppose, or not yet anyway, like uh, Roland McEwen. I think he's in the minors right now. Also, Josh Hosang, and there's probably some other players. There definitely is, but I don't know. Just some examples there. But yeah, having McDavid on your team, he was he's a cheat code in the NHL right now, and he was definitely a cheat code back then. If he touched the puck, it was like, all right, he's gonna score, it's just a matter of how. And the second half of that question is, what do I think got me to 40K? I don't know. <laughs> I guess just being persistent. Like, I've been going at this for several years. I started on NHL 12. I believe my first video was an NHL 12 shootout commentary. And yeah, so I've just been doing it for a while. Uh, I guess collabs have helped out a lot. The Goalie Be A Pro series really helped me back when I was, you know, Lewis Finuff when I was first starting out. And yeah, just, I don't know. I guess I've just had some decent video ideas over the years that have gotten some views and that probably drew in some people. Mitchell wants to know if I play World of Chell and I do not. I basically don't play any NHL online anymore. I really have not enjoyed NHL online since NHL 14 EASHL was probably the last time I had fun online and I believe since like NHL I'm just, I'm trying to throw out ballparks here for the most part, but I should be pretty close. NHL 18, I might have played some hut, but to my knowledge in 1920 and this game so far, I've barely played any online. There's just other games I'd rather be playing to be quite honest, like online, I suppose, you know, like I, I love making NHL content, but if I'm not making content, I'm probably not playing this game. That's, it's weird like that, you know? I'll only play this game to stream or make YouTube videos, which is crazy. And then, you know, once the stream or videos are done, I just don't want to play it anymore. But I enjoy doing it while I'm making the content. As soon as it's done, though, I, I don't care. I really, really, really wish they put this damn game on PC again so I don't have to buy a next-gen console. That would be tremendous. The only reason right now I have an Xbox One is so I can play NHL. Not one single other game gets played on this thing. Our team's doing pretty good. 39, 23, and 10. How many wins did I say we were gonna get? I think I said 47 or 48, something like that. Uh, Mark Pouliot has been canned. Okay, we have 45 wins. I, once again, do not remember how many I said we were gonna get, but we ended with 45. And a 9-2 loss to the Hurricanes. Holy crap, what happened? All right, let's just breeze past the playoffs here. So the final question will be from Brickwall. Why do you like playing goalie be a pro versus normal? So, basically, how it all started was I saw a bunch of people doing be a pros, be a pro series. I know Johnny did be a pro and stuff. And, you know, because I played player my whole life, it's I think it's the opposite. You know, like goalies, they play goalie their whole life. And then when they get older and like men's league, they don't want to play anymore. They want to be a forward or a player. Uh, I don't really want to be a goalie and actual hockey like in my men's league but you know I'm down to play it in video games it's just fun I guess I don't know if, if that logic makes any sense hopefully that makes sense to you but that's kind of how it happened and also on top of that I kind of looked at it and I was like no one else is really doing goalie be a pros so I see a ton of be a pros I'm going to kind of try to separate myself here into a goalie one and just see how it turns out and it actually ended up getting a lot of views so I kept at it and not only was it doing well for my channel, I was also enjoying the hell out of it. So 
It was just a win-win. So the team finished with 101 points for first in the Metro. And we got fifth in the league. Not bad. Anaheim murdered everyone. 56 wins, 118 points. I got to see who's on their team. And Minnesota ended up winning the cup. And they were the runner-up for the President's Trophy. Marchand put up 93 points. He's 93 overall. And Bergeron put up 82 point a game. Out of boy Patrice. Latang with 69, Dadanov 63, Stahl 61. Okay, our team did pretty good. How did our goaltending do? We've got 35, 19, and 7 with a 900 flat, 288. Wow, okay, our goaltending was not very solid. I don't know why I never thought to do this, but I can totally look at teams through here instead of through the contract screen. So I'm definitely doing that from now on. This is way better. They had Kucherov, Tavares, Carlson, Lindholm, Fiala, Hartman... Wow, no wonder they did so well. Jeez, they had themselves a team. Dougie, Hamilton, Farabee. Wow. Anaheim was the other powerhouse, right? Let's see who they had. Oh, well, that, that answers it right there. You had McDubstep. Okay, and they had Broccoli. They also had Duncan Keith, Strom, Weber. Well, they had a really good defensive core. Keith, Weber, Riley. Holy smokes. They had Patches, Kessel, Hyman, Josh Hosang. All right, cool. So let's go to the awards quick here. Have a look at those. And there's the team awards, the individual awards. Oh, Kaprizov with the Calder. There you go. And there you have it. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, guys. And hopefully I answered your questions satisfactorily. That's absolutely not a word. But yeah, I appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you so much for 40K. It does mean a lot. Um, and yeah, it's been it's been great. I am glad you guys are enjoying the videos because I am still having fun making them. Otherwise, I would not be doing it. I promise you that. So be sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. If you could subscribe, if you're not already, that'd be great. I'm pretty sure a fair amount of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So, you know, once again, if you want to just trial basis, you could subscribe. And if you don't like it, you could undo it later. Um, but you won't. All right, for real, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I don't know. It's probably going to be uploaded at like 3 p.m. That's normally when I upload. It'll probably be a weekday video. We'll see. I don't know. All right. I have no idea. It all just comes down to on the day, which video I picked to upload. But yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. And I'll see you later.